Hi, this is Mrs. Nelson. We're looking at Unit 8, Lesson 7, using histograms to answer statistical questions. The objective says, I can use a histogram to describe the distribution of data and determine a typical value for the data. So that keyword distribution tells me we're going to probably be looking at the spread, and then that keyword of typical tells me that we're probably going to be looking at the mean or the average. These two histograms show the number of text messages sent in one week by two groups of 100 students. The first, or top histogram, summarizes data from sixth grade students. The second, or bottom histogram, summarizes data from seventh grade students. Letter A. Do the two data sets have approximately the same center? If so, where is the center located? If not, which one has the greater center? So center is a word that we use with mean or average, which again is associated with the word typical. So we're looking for that center or that balance point for the data as though it were a teeter-totter. Where would that fulcrum be placed so that the teeter-totter would be enjoyable? So I'm gonna go ahead and mark the center of both of those histograms. So there's about the same amount of data on the left as there is on the right. So I've marked it for the 6th graders and for the 7th graders. And you can see those are pretty much in the same spot. So neither one of them has a greater center. Their centers are about the same. Their centers are both somewhere in between 95 and 100 text messages sent by each uh, student in general. Letter B. Which data set has a greater spread? Show your reasoning. So again, spread is talking about the distribution of the data. How far apart is it? Or how close together is it? So when we're thinking about how far apart is it, we want to measure that with a length. So we're gonna look at the minimum and the maximum values and see the distance between those. So I'm gonna draw those distances for both sixth and seventh grades. You can see that there's more variability in the number of text messages sent by the sixth graders compared to the number of text messages sent by the seventh graders. So the seventh graders are more alike overall than the sixth grader. So the sixth graders have the greater spread, and you can see my reasoning with my drawings of those lengths. Overall, which group sent more text messages? Again, when we're talking about the word overall, again, we're trying to think about what's typical. In general, overall, and those words typical or in general or overall are associated again with that mean. So even though we looked at both the spread and the mean, we want to consider the mean for this question. So since their averages or their means were pretty much the same, we can say that in general, they sent about the same number of text messages. So since the center is practically the same, both groups send the same number of text messages overall. So neither of them sent more text messages. And again, our objective says I can use a histogram to describe the distribution of data and determine a typical value for the data. So we are able to see the average by balancing, finding that center or balance point, as well as the spread by looking again at the distance from the mis min minimum to the maximum in this histogram. Thanks for watching.